Well, howdy guys, it's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, making another video for you out of Boise, Idaho here. And we are going to be spending some time moving forward on the Toyota engine. Good news is we were able to get the intakes off without any major damage. Uh, the worst that happened was some of the bolts, some of the rusted bolts did pull the threads out with them, the aluminum threads, so I'll be... I'll have to go back in and drill and tap and cut new threads and uh, make that work. So there will be a video showing that. And there will be a video showing this intake in more detail. Um, it's nasty underneath there. I'll just warn you right now. It's pretty gross. So, yeah, I'll definitely be making a video showing me cleaning all that up and all that other good stuff. But right now, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and get the timing broken down. I wasn't going to mess with the secondary timing change or tensioner, so I was just going to do a quick job on this and, uh, you know, replace the main chain and tensioners, but it turns out the secondary chains and tensioners are also bad as well. So we're going to be replacing it all. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to set the timing to what's known as top dead center. And what top dead center is, is it's where cylinder number one, so whether you have a four cylinder or a V6 or a V8 or a V12, what you want to do is you want to identify which one of these spark plug holes represents cylinder number one. In this case, it's on the passenger side here of the engine up front cylinder number one. So TDC is where cylinder number one, the piston inside the cylinder is all the way up right here. Okay, this is where the head the cylinder head meets the block so the piston inside of here on number one is all the way up on the compression stroke okay and you'll have different marks and stuff to line up with your engine so that you know that you're set at TDC if you attempt to replace a timing chain or a timing belt without setting your engine at TDC you risk the chance of causing valve damage, piston damage, or in other words, thousands of dollars worth of damage. So I'm going to pause it here, I'm going to get set up, and I'm going to show you my method for setting TDC. Okay, so one of the first things you want to do when setting top dead center and preparation to remove a timing chain or a timing belt is you want to identify where all of your marks are going to be. Okay, so on here, we have a mark here. We have some marks here on the cam cap. We have some marks here. And again, we have marks here on this cam cap, marks here. We've got a mark here. We also have marks here, okay? We got marks there. And it looks like we've got a mark, we've got marks here. And then also there's a mark under here, and there's a mark here as well. And then we also have a mark right here. Now right now, this engine is 180 degrees off, all right? And so we'll talk more about that here in just a second. After you've identified all these marks, you want to go ahead and pull out the book, go to the computer, find the diagram, find the factory diagram, whatever it is you need to do, whether it's, you know, whether you've got it in a book or, or a computer, do not second guess these marks. Go ahead and verify that you have found all the correct marks and then verify which marks are important and which ones are not important. Like for example, and I already went and verified, so I know that although I have a mark here, I also have another mark down here, but I didn't see that at first because it was covered in oil. So go ahead and verify via the book, internet, Mitchell, all data. Bottom line is, is verify with the factory information that you have found all the marks. Now, some information about how engines work okay down here you have a crankshaft up here these are your camshafts now as you can see the crank gear 
is much smaller than the camshafts, all right? One of the universal rules here is that for every one single full rotation on the bottom half of the engine, that actually only equals half a rotation on the top half of the engine. So in other words, if you want this camshaft to go from 12 o'clock to 12 o'clock, you have to turn the crankshaft two full rotations. So you go from 12 to 12, then from 12 to 12 again. And that's how you get it up here. So although down here at the bottom, actually, I'm pretty close to top dead center, but at the top, I'm 180 degrees off. That means that my piston is actually down here and my valves are open when they're not supposed to be and all that other stuff. So that's kind of how you can end up being what you may think is TDC on the bottom, but you're actually not at TDC on the top. You're 180 degrees off. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn this engine over and I'm going to get it set to TDC. Okay, and since I was only 180 off, technically all I have to do is go one full rotation and I start lining up all my marks here. Okay. Now another pointer and tip is if you notice I turn this engine over pretty easy. That's because I've got all my spark plugs removed. So there's no compression that I have to fight against there. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you right now we are set at TDC. So I'm going to go from the factory setting here. I'm going to show you what TDC is. So we're going to go two full rotations so we can bring all of our marks back to where they need to be. Just so you can kind of see this. All right. And we're coming back around at the end of our second rotation. And I'm going to be checking my marks here. All right, and there we go. Now for the Toyota 4Runner 4.0 liter, this is where all of your marks are going to be lined up at, okay? You are going to line this mark up with this mark right here. See that? You're going to line that up, all right? Then you're going to come here, and you're going to line this mark You're going to go down here, and you're going to line it up with that right there. Okay, so you see those two? Okay, and then you're going to come over here, and you're going to have these two marks, these two right here. You see those two right there? Okay, and on the top, you see those two notches? You're going to have that lined up like this in between those two notches okay then you're gonna come over here and you're gonna have the same setup over here as you did on the other side you're gonna have this little notch lined up there <clears throat> then you're gonna come to the bottom here and you're gonna double check you want your notch here and then you want this guy right here and that guy right there all right and that's TDC. Now, if you want, just so you can feel safe about it, because if you mess this up and you install your chain wrong, you're going to blow up your engine and cost thousands of dollars. So if you want, go ahead and take something or use a flashlight and look down and verify that that piston is all the way up. Okay, and you can take something just very gently, all right, right there, 
That's the top of that piston, so I know that piston is all the way up. I go over here, and there's some depth. And then the final verification that we're at TDC is checking your valve lobes on cylinder number one. If your valve lobes are up, pointed up, then that means that all these valves are closed. That piston is all the way up on the compression stroke. So once again, for the Toyota 4.0, TDC marks are there. Let me see if I can get you a good, there. I'm no cameraman, I'm just a mechanic. So TDC marks are there. Then on the passenger side, you got your TDC mark there. Come on camera. Then you've got your other TDC mark here. <clears throat> and then you've got this one lined up in between these two. Here and here. And then you've got the same setup on this side. Line that notch and that notch up and then back down here again. So there you go, folks, and that's how you set TDC on the Toyota 4Runner 4.0. Now I'm going to go ahead and start taking all this apart, and uh, got a whole timing kit ready to go over there, and uh, start installing new chains, getting all that ready to go. My next video will probably show you what's underneath this upper and lower intake, and what I'm going to do to restore and clean all that up. There's quite a bit of corrosion underneath there, so. All right, folks. Well, hey, guys, thanks for coming out and supporting me and my family and what I do. Thanks for watching my videos and all that other good stuff. Don't forget to subscribe, share my channel, uh, get your friends and families to subscribe. And also, if you got a few extra bucks laying around, maybe consider picking up a T-shirt or two. Uh, my family and I would greatly appreciate it. And if you can think of any more merchandise or catchy slogans or anything like that that you'd like to see uh shoot me an email i'd love to hear hear your ideas and all that other stuff so so yeah just let me know all right folks once again thanks for all the support i am signing off